How have I been doing this show for three years and failed to mention Alien vs Predator is beyond me. They fought themselves already. Multiple times even. Fear not though, we're going to do it today and I also have a contest going on with HH Greg and LG. They're giving away a 4K TV so stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you the details how you can win that sweet bad boy. They're actually giving one away every single hour. I also linked it in the description below so you can check it out there if you're getting antsy. And I can assure you, I have no incentive for pushing this promotion for them outside of money. Let's get started with the feud. Predator's a full-blown sausage fest with Arnold packing most of the meat. I couldn't make that sound gayer if I tried. The oiled up arm locking introduction is so f***ing good. This is the call of duty of movies. A total bro fest that turns into a smart sci-fi in the later act. Arnold does what Arnold does best, kill a lot of people and spout out one-liners. Joining him is former governor of Minnesota, Jesse the Body Ventura. He gets the best line in the film and delivers it with such a nonchalant way it really drives the point home. A small role from Apollo Creed is also worth noting. But it's the second act where we have Arnold and the Predator that makes it the most interesting. It's certainly better than that bullshit anticlimactic confrontation by the waterfall. That dude is jacked up. He's ready to fight. He cuts his chest down the middle with a giant knife. He's like, come on! Come on! This is happening. This is going to be the most epic fight ever. And then cut away with a scream. Not a single punch is thrown. This is the biggest cock block I've ever seen in the film. Where Arnold was a badass right away, Ripley took her time. She grew as a character and she was a bit normal, I guess, for the lack of a better word. Her arc over the course of the film is drastic but well crafted as she's forced to survive on a ship with an ugly, acid spitting xenomorph. We also get a great performance by Ian Holm playing the ship's android Ash. Tom Skerritt, Harry Dean Stanton, and Yafet Kodo as Parker round out the crew. As great as our commandos are, I'm gonna have to give it to the crew of the Nostromo this time around. Nostromo was the ship. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right. It's been a long time. Stick around. Both of these stories are laid out very similarly. They're about a group of people who band together to survive an unknown threat. Now they of course go about this in very different ways. Predator is a fast paced affair. Our crew get tossed in a remote South American jungle to free a captured CIA operative only to be turned into prey themselves. Ridley and her space explorers are likewise on a rescue mission when they receive a distress call from a nearby unexplored planet. This leads to an altercation on their ship once they chart their course back home. It's really Taster's choice here. You either like the fast and furious pace of the Predator or the slow, methodical approach to Alien. Both movies have brilliant one-on-one -on -one final acts with our heroes going to extreme lengths to stay alive. Arnold covered in mud to hunt the hunter is just f***ing cool. I don't care who you are. You can criticize Ridley Scott for a sketchy script from time to time, but don't you ever question his ability behind the lens of a camera. The guy has an eye for beauty. His movies are truly spectacles and Alien holds up amazingly well 35 years later. Thanks to practical effects work such as animatronics and puppeteering, the Alien still looks convincing as hell too. Notable moments come out from the chest burster to the classic chain swinging confrontation and the incredible planetscape. I was actually in that chest burster scene of Alien. I was an extra. Uh, they took out my portion, which is a shame because I thought it was very well done. Very tasteful. Alright, uh, who do I have to f around here to get a jello pudding pop? Because there's never any left in the fridge. It is always something on this ship. Just give him some Pepto Bismol. I don't know. Oh! Oh! Predator is more in line with Rambo. The whole movie takes place in a jungle and is a typical action flick until that last portion. As for the Predator, he looks f awesome. Predator view is a bit dated, you could say, but it seems almost intentional. I remember being very disturbed as a kid when he uh, took off that mask and showed his real form. He is one ugly mother f That coupled together with the disturbing self-destruction laughing in the distance made for some sleepless nights when I was a kid. In hindsight, my parents probably should have done a better job monitoring what I was watching as a kid. Scratch that. My parents did a wonderful job. 
dat Predator score. Alan Silvestri composed the Predator soundtrack and it's entirely orchestral. The main theme is so goddamn good. Those sweeping violin sounds and frantic beats keep you on edge as man battles beast. The alien theme composed by Jerry Goldsmith is said to be his best work. It certainly matches the ominous feel of the film and it's a very good listen to running at six minutes long. Gun to my head, I still have a tough time choosing, I'm gonna be honest with you here. Alien obviously has the richer history, spanning multiple sequels, games, graphic novels, and more. Predator has some of that, but not near the vast lore that Scott and company have crafted. Predator is a great movie to throw on on a rainy afternoon weekend, pop some popcorn, sit back and enjoy the quick, fun ride. Alien, though, that's for kind of a classier bunch, I think, the snobs of the film industry, and since I'm one of them, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Alien. Uh, Every day of the week, actually. I gotta go alien. Now let's talk about that contest I cock-teased earlier in the episode because it's a pretty banging offer. Kids, I'm told, say banging. HH, Greg, and LG are offering a contest where you can win an LG 55-inch curved OLED Smart HD TV. But that's not all. They have themselves an LG 49-inch 4K HD Smart TV and also an LG 300 watt 2.1 channel soundbar every hour on the hour December 16th. Just go to hhgreg.com using my special code MOVIE. Creative, I know. You can also win a $500 HH Greg gift card by following at HH Greg and using the hashtag OMLG on Twitter December 15th and 16th. The person that uses that hashtag most wins. And the most important part, more than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. Mark your calendars. This is the day that I officially sold out.